Hey, it's Aaron Kushler, and welcome to another video from EBSC. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about whether CrossFitters can actually do strongman comps. I'm also gonna share with you the three areas that CrossFit actually helps your ability to do strongman. The short answer to the question is obviously yes. Anyone can train for strongman and start going down the route of doing their first competition. But if you've been training in CrossFit for any length of time, you already have some traits that are gonna carry over very well to the sport of strongman. So let's look at why having a background in CrossFit is going to help you in strongman strongman. First, there's the ability to work fast. In CrossFit, you do a lot of time-based workouts where the main objective is to do more work in less time or more work in the same amount of time. And if we look at CrossFit's measure of fitness, it states that fitness is the ability to move large loads, long distances quickly. When it comes to strongman, there are often events that involve carrying large, heavy objects for a set distance, either for time or for distance carrying large loads long distances quickly. There's also events such as medleys where you've got a series of tasks to complete back to back in the fastest time possible. Kinda like completing a wad. So in just that part alone, there's a massive carryover between the two sports. And being able to lift a weight repeatedly is going to help in the sport of strongman for doing events such as a lift for reps. Secondly, there's the inclusion of Olympic lifting in CrossFit. Depending on how long you've been doing CrossFit and how proficient you actually are with the Olympic lifts, this is gonna translate in taking a weight from the ground to above your head in the quickest way possible. In strongman, events such as the Viking press, log press or axle clean and press will involve you pressing weight above your head. If you have a sturdy set of shoulders and a sound ability to lock weight out above your head, this is going to give you a big advantage in strongman, even though some of the implements that you're gonna be using are very different to a barbell. And third, there's the ability to push through the pain of a workout. The common culture in CrossFit is to constantly push your limits, be better than you were the day before. And if we're being honest, that's usually quite painful. Trying to get a faster fran time or completing any of the open workouts comes with that suck factor. The longer you do CrossFit, the more of that suck factor you can learn to tolerate. This is a great ability and will also help you in Strongman. For events that require a dragging of an implement, quite often the limiting factor for many athletes is the buildup of lactic acid in the legs. If you've done plenty of hero workouts like Murph, you'll understand this feeling very well. In strongman competitions that actually involve events that have these medleys where there might be a carry and a drag, it's not always the strongest person that wins the event. It's the one who can tolerate the most pain and that buildup of lactic acid that's able to finish the event in the fastest time. So you're probably wondering at this point, what's next? How can I actually get started with this all? The best thing to do is find a competition that's near you, enter it and start training for it. You don't need to be the world's strongest man to enter a competition. And you're probably not gonna feel 100% ready for it, but do it anyway. And you're gonna find there are many different people from all different calibers and backgrounds at your competition. And you'll actually find that these people are super supportive and want to see you do well. Really ask yourself, does anyone actually wanna see you fail miserably? No, they don't. And if they do, that's not really someone you should even care about. As far as training goes for one of these competitions, you can easily get started at your current gym. I actually have a few videos that break down some of the common movements that come up in Strongman and how to train them for strength, endurance, and even conditioning. These videos are a great start if you want some ideas to throw into your current training program. Alternatively, if you'd like a more tailored one-on-one -on -one approach to your program that's specific to your goals, your schedule, and your equipment availability, that's exactly what I help my clients do in my coaching programs. If you're keen to get started and really step it up a notch, let's have a chat and see how we can get you there. I'll put the links down below in the description. And of course, if you found this video helpful, do me a favor and like the video as well as subscribe to the channel so that you stay up to date with new content I'm gonna be releasing. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.